man, if I had my Aveline cosplay, this review would be so on point. What's up, travelers? Have I got a review for you. Today we're reviewing Justina Ireland's Dread Nation. What is Dread Nation about? Well, let's read the summary, shall we? Jane McKinney was born two days before the dead began to walk the battlefields of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, derailing the war between the states and changing the nation forever. In this new America, safety for all depends on the work of a few, and laws like the Negro and Native Re-Education Act require certain children to attend combat schools to learn to put down the dead. But there are op also opportunities, and Jane is studying to become an attendant, trained in both weaponry and etiquette to protect the well-to-dos. It's a chance for a better life for Negro girls like Jane. But that's not the life she wants. Almost finished with her education at Miss Preston's School of Combat in Baltimore, Jane is set on returning to her Kentucky home and doesn't pay much mind to the politics of eastern cities with their talk of returning America to the glory of its days before the dead rose. But when families around Baltimore County begin to go missing, Jane is caught in the middle of a desperate fight against some powerful enemies, and the restless dead, it will seem, are the least of her problems. You know how I do reviews. I'm going to give you my pros, I'm going to give you my cons, and then I'm going to wrap up the whole, fi my final thoughts on this. Let's get into the pros, shall we? I'm going to start off with my shallow pros and then do something a little more serious and probably more objective. <laughs> my first shallow pro is this book cover. I just, I know, I I have a bunch of books where literally that's going to be my first pro, so just just settle, settle in and get used to it, but just... If I had gone into a bookstore at a, as a 16-year-old, this would have made my day. Also, I really love when books do this. I don't want every single book I own to do that because, you know, what sense does it make to have all the books have these fancy features? But <clears throat> there's the my pro. My next pro would be its characters. I absolutely love Jane. And I know sometimes when you got historical fiction books, they'll do with the whole woman hate, but they didn't really do it here. You have Jane and you have Kate, and they kind of have an antagonistic relationship, but it's more like sibling rivalry when you really get into it. Jane is just constantly poking fun at Kate. She, you know, she's all like, I'm not really friends with the females here. I have one good girlfriend, and then there's Kate, but you see them build this friendship where they were kind of like they were kind of frenemies type thing and then they were actually good friends and i really love that because like i said you see a lot of girl hate in books and it's like why why is that necessary it's okay for girls to like each other and to be in the same book and not compete for each other and talk about everything negative about one another it's just like the rivalry even though it doesn't start off completely friends the rivalry isn't it's not petty or jealous it's envious it's just kind of like it's kind of like tickling tickling a dragon you know you're not being mean you probably shouldn't tickle a little dragon but yeah it's funny anyway for my last pro i'm going to talk about just what justina ireland created i don't really care for historical fiction and don't really care for zombies. The, every so often a few zombie literature, video game movies will creep its way in and I'll go, that's really good, I want to recommend that. And that's that. But for Dread Nation, it was like, okay, it's about zombies, it's about back in the Revolutionary War, Civil War eras, and it's like, I... Yeah, yeah. But I read it and it was just so good. And I loved it. And I, like, I don't want to say I want to see it as a TV series. I mean, I really do, but I really enjoyed reading it. It's just, I can see everything. It's well written, and the pacing was great, and just, she wrote an amazing book. That's all I gotta say. Really, really amazing. I highly recommend it. The cons. I can't think of any. I legit can't. There, there's some books where I'm like, I didn't like this part, and as subjective as it be as it is, I still feel the need to acknowledge when I don't like something in a book. But the most I could say is, I don't like the genre, or I don't really care for zombies. That's that's about the most negative thing I can say. There's nothing in this book where I was like, I don't like this, and I got all emotional about it because. I can be, I can emotionally dislike something, no matter how subjective it is, and though I try to be objective, 
I'm rambling. I'm sorry, but I literally can't think of anything that I disliked in this book. Wow. I really can't think of anything I disliked in this book. That's, it's not a rarity for me, but I want to be as honest as possible, even if people disagree with my opinions. But there it is. And boom. All right. Time for my final thoughts on the project. My final thoughts are, I, like I said, I didn't know anything about this book, only that I saw the author on Twitter. How I, how I got through this book is I saw the author on Twitter and I, I, keep see, I kept seeing people I follow retweet some of the stuff she said, so then I started following her and I just, as her as a person, well, her public persona, obviously, because you never really know who's behind the screen, but as far as her public persona, it made me interested in her work. So I bought her work and then I really liked her work. And now I'm so glad that this is how I found authors. Cause I know as far as Twitter goes, there's a lot of this whole follow for following going on. And I know a few people who do that and I hope they stop doing it with me. Cause I don't follow back anymore. It's like, if I don't like you as a person, obviously again, public persona, then I don't really want to follow your Twitter. It's like, I'm on your Twitter because I, I want to see something interesting. I don't want to just see like, you know, ads, you know, even if you're only doing memes, like I do, I, I retweet a bunch of memes and funny quotes. I practically don't use my Twitter. So I'm a really bad person to follow, but I digress. Like I said, that's how I got into this series. So as far as my rating is going to go, I say this is definitely worth picking up. It's definitely worth buying. And had I had an art copy, I would give it away to somebody else, but I bought this one. This is mine. It belongs to me. That being said, if you do stay to my channel, I do do giveaways when I do do arcs. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, you want to keep seeing more, feel free to subscribe. That box is right down here or right down there and then there's a bell and then there's a description box where you could follow me on my social media like on Twitter where I followed Justina Ireland because her tweets were awesome and then she had an awesome book also if you like video games because as I said I would have loved to have my Aveline cosplay and Aveline is from Assassin's Creed Liberation the only Assassin's Creed I ever played and Aveline and Jane have a very similar disposition only difference is i got to kick ass as Averline and i got to read jane kick ass so you know a little, little, little difference i also play video games my twitch is also down below stay tuned on the weekends for nerdy related things all right later days